Uh, my name is Amy Manishi and I'm the writer-director of Battalion to My Beat. It's a very intriguing story. Tell me how it came about. It came about uh, about 10 years ago when I met a Sahrawi while I was living and uh, studying art in Barcelona and he was someone I'd made the perilous journey on uh, one of those fishermen boats uh, immigrating from Western Sahara to Spain and that's kind of what opened the can of worm of finding out about this country which I didn't know about and about the political situation there and my involvement as a filmmaker really started when I started to work in film in general about a couple of years ago. So. so tell us a little more about the storyline and the female that's involved. She, um, I wanted to portray uh, the sense of revolt and revolution that exists inherently I think in teenagers and, and because I am a woman I could relate to it as a teenage girl um, <laughs> of an idea of fighting against the status quo but also against your family. There's something universal about you know, you, you hate your mom, you hate your school, you, you know, you want to, you're sick and tired, that's just the general feeling. And it's really the same feeling that one feels towards, um, you know, diplomacy, or at least in, in terms of the Sahrawi youth, diplomacy and the lack of political change there that is really needed now. So, that's so what is her struggle when it comes to deciding whether or not to be part of the military? I think um, as a teenager it was really the only thing, the quickest thing that she could find out in terms of her involvement in making a, a change. I think when we're also teenagers we think of simple answers and um, she thought that if she joins the army, and I think this is what happens to a lot of 18 year olds even in the US who join the army is, you know, how can I make a difference and how can I be self-important and, and really change my future. And these are decisions that are extremely mature and that they deal with things like how can I change my future and make the world better but also you know the answers are very naive and that oh if I join the army instantly I'll you know be a Joan of Arc and and kick the Moroccans out but but maybe not so easily yeah. as you grow up in life you start to realize how important those decisions are when you make them at that young age so did she battle with that and do you think she made the right decision um, I do. I think regardless of whether our actions are futile in the end, um, I think it's hard to fight against a, you know, a government as your own person and even as a small army. But I think it's um, important to follow your drive and follow you know, whatever is your reckoning. Mm -hmm.